Hello. Hey, Kevin. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What do you got for me? So my issue is, first of all, I'm new to Atlanta, mm. but um, my issue is not finding high value men. It is finding one, the same as the last young lady, really? finding the ones that I'm attracted to, I think. How are you? Um, so I was just going to ask how important that is, but I think you've already answered it while I was how are waiting. You? How are you? I'm 41. Uh, I, why are y'all ladies still so uh, attractive? Well, I let, attractive. I said, why, uh, no, let me ask you, why is attraction so highly ranked with you? For me, I can only speak for myself. That's for all me, I'm you for. Yeah. yeah, it's. Uh, I want to be able to make him feel the way that I know that a man wants to be made to feel. If I'm not attracted to him authentically, it's not going to come out. It's going to feel forced. Okay, but you also mentioned high value men. Right. What percentage of men do you think are high value? Well, from watching you, I've learned that it's 1%. I haven't validated that for well, myself. I mean, take about 10% of men are high value. 10%, but unless you're talking about me making $500,000 or more, is that what you're talking about? So the, on, the only reason why it would need to be high value for me, and maybe need is a strong word, but um, I make a couple hundred Gs already, and I'm not, you know, I'm not, it, it feels like a downgrade for me to date somebody or connect with somebody yeah so i've already done all that so i would prefer a man that already has children because i have children so um i want us to be equally yoked that's really all i'm looking for so equally yoked means what's that background noise? but e equally yoked so here's the problem 40 what 41 yeah um do you care if he's black Preferably. Is it a month? I mean, have you have you seriously dated non-black men? No. I've black? tried. I've attempted. I've, I've attempted. Yeah, but, but that's but... why I said seriously. So let the numbers yeah. are, the numbers are not on your side. Do you have the TV on or another phone or something? Or big background noise. I don't know. What? There's nothing. There's no yeah, noise. People are even saying you're getting background noise. Uh, you have another window open. Mm mm. Well, the problem is your age is a, is, a, is a factor. Your income is a massive factor. Uh, and it comes down to the men who fit into the category who are, is your TV on? No, there's literally no noise. Mm. Yeah, everybody's in a definitely background. Okay, um, I don't know how to mute it. Let me see. Let me do this. Uh, request to come back in. Problem is, the amount of black men that earn, the amount, the amount of money you're talking about is less than three percent. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you gotta have three percent of men, and that's three percent, whether they're married or unmarried, homosexual, un -hom not homosexual, whatever. Three percent. <laughs> then you gotta be attracted to. Them. But they got to be attracted to you, and the and they have all the they have all the control, right? Men yeah, have okay. access to relationships. Mm -hmm. So why do you need a man who's making what you're making? Let's start there. Um, need. I don't attraction, need. Is, attraction is easier to deal with than our income. I agree. I agree. I've met some men that I'm attracted to that didn't make the same amount of money. Yeah, but would you take them seriously? Um. Nope. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think I'm very big on chemistry and the connection. Mm -hmm. If the connection is there, then I become less picky. You know, you know what the you know what the median income for black men is in this country. Um, I've heard you say somewhere in the neighborhood of 50,000. 42. 42. Yep, so that would mean if you met a $45,000 a year man and you make 200? Yeah, there's no way. I couldn't go that low. The lowest I well, could go is that mean, uh, Well, then you're still talking about 8% of black men. So effectively, 
Because I got to be real. I got to be 100% honest. You may be a perfectly lovely woman, but a black man, single, earning $150,000 or more, he's going to go out and like to go get a younger woman so he can have children and have his own thing. It's not good. And even if he doesn't want children. Well, he's done having kids. I did, or, for me, or, my or, idea. Or, or, see, but here's the thing. You got to understand. Men like to be in control. And let's say you met a 50-year-old black man making 100. There's nothing new to do with you. You already own a home, right? What you mean? You own a no, home. No, what? Listen, you own a home, right? Yes. Okay, so buying a home is nothing new to you. That's you've already done that. Mm -hmm. You've already bought your own new car. Nothing new. Right. You're gonna go to Ruth Chris, a Poco to Child. This nothing new. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go in Paris. Nothing new. There's no, no, there's no new magic with an older woman because you've lived life and experienced it. I, I bought you some red bottoms. Oh, was that from last year's collection? Nothing new. No, I mean, the nothing new part, sure. I think as we age, then things become less new. But um, I do feel like I know how to make a man feel. So that that is a benefit. Yeah, you make him know how to make it, But that assumes after he picks you. Uh well I mean as the over the course of him figuring out whether he likes me. Right. So what I'm saying is men like to be in a power position with their woman. And if a man is dating you, let's say he's 46, he's dating you. Mm -hmm. He's also dating a 27 year old, a 31 year old. And you're competing against all these women. I generally don't have an issue with that. I don't generally. I'm just asking about whether or not this topic is dating down. So I wanted to specifically ask you about whether or not the attraction thing is something that is unrealistic. If, yes. if that shouldn't even yes. be on my radar. Yes. That was really the question. Yes, because it sounds like money is a deal breaker. And I'm sorry, but uh, attractive men who make what you make and are going to go for younger, harder women. <laughs> because everything I just said is a factor with men. Um, I think women got to realize the older you get, the you, you don't get the same deals you got when you were younger. Um, and it, because money is so big, man, that's really the deal break. Because you, okay. say you, don't have, you say you don't have any problems. Are you involved with somebody like that right now? Who's earning that kind of money? Marriage, <laughs> not, not dating, but you, you, you see, dating... Men who are wanting to marry start out wanting to marry. They don't decide to marry later. I know. Yes, there's there's someone, but the issue is out. There have been a, a, a few, and the issue has been that I'm not attracted to them, and that scares me because I don't <laughs> want to. Yeah, I mean, that's it's really about them more so. I want to make sure that if we're together, that they get what they need. That's And if if I'm struggling to feel aroused, then that's a problem. There's nothing I can say about that. I, here's what I'm saying. Here's what saddens me: that we have a, that our culture has allowed our sisters to get so far out of their feminine nature to where this is becoming something that's keeping you single. Because no other group of women is this looks driven. Sisters are driven by looks. At typically ranks looks the highest. Like other groups don't have this whole pookie ray ray street thing. Most women go for men with resources and accomplishments. Sisters want a man who's over six feet tall, a jawline, and an airplane. And then you want him to have a million dollars. And you want him to like your kids. And you want him to like your dog. It's like, mm. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, have a good night. Bye. Yeah, I mean, I can understand. People want what they want, but can't have it all, ladies. The older you get, the less you get. The older you get, the less you get. The less you can even start to ask for. 